What's up, people? So, one question I get asked a lot, like continuously, is Nathaniel, why don't you follow anyone on Instagram? I get asked this question the whole bloody time. And when I get asked this question, people ask me with such like arrogance, like, do you think you better, huh? You think you're better than people? You think you're Beyonce, huh? Huh? Why don't you follow anyone? Every time you go onto your Instagram, who do you see? Yourself? Are you that narcissistic, huh, Nathaniel? Why, 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 why? Do you think you're better than people? And I find it fascinating how quick people ask with a negative disposition as opposed to a positive one. And how quick people create these stories of me thinking that I'm like superior. Unfollowing people or not following people at all is a choice. And it's an open preference that anyone can enjoy. It's not just me. But I will... I, ooh, I'm getting pins and needles in my foot. Ah! I will entertain this question um, to make you understand why. And I'm going to be brutally honest with you. And when you watch this video at the end of it, I hope you are brutally honest with yourself when you understand why I don't follow a single person on Instagram. Now... A year ago, I realized that there was this cycle of bitterness that I was going through. See, every time I went into Instagram and I followed these people that I called my friends, I kept on comparing my life to their life. Um, every time they did something great, whether it was travel, go overseas, take pictures at fancy restaurants, take pictures of their new clothing, I would get upset, especially with comedians. You know, I'd see them perform at gigs that I want to perform at and I'd be like, who the fuck is he? He's not even that funny. And again, I would compare myself and I would take their success and belittle it and create animosity within myself towards them. Just merely off a picture or a video that they post. And this was an ongoing cycle across so many people that I was following that I felt what I was creating. Late at night, I would go through people's, you know, photos and pictures and be in their stories and vicariously lived through their lives, but with animosity, not with truthful happiness and wanting to see them and glorifying and, you know, celebrating their success. Um, I would just be annoyed and upset and bitter constantly. Um, I took part in gossiping about people and, you know, talking about, oh, did you see that one posted this? Did you see that one posted that? And it's just got to, a, I got to a point where I was like, this is not me. It doesn't feel right. I'm not that person. I've never been that person. Why am I acting this way? Why am I so bitter? Why am I so jealous? Why am I creating animosity? Why am I being so fake? So I had to stop completely and literally find a granular idea of what is sparking this behavior. So it started with understanding social media first. And I got to a point where I said to myself, Nathaniel, do you understand that everyone on social media creates an artificial idea of success or reality rather? So it isn't really reality because you and I both know reality is a balance of great things and a balance of shitty things. You can have a beautiful fucking day at work and then have a horrible time where you have an argument with your boyfriend or husband or mom or dad. There's always this toss-up between positive and negative. That is reality. Now, what I realized I was doing, I was taking the reality of positive and negative and trying to compare, I was trying to compare it to the artificial reality of social media, which is primarily constructed not of any negativity that is shown, primarily constructed of only positive achievements in people's lives. Vanity is what people express on social media. So how the hell am I going to take a fucking pear and compare it, compare it to a banana? I can't because it's not the same thing. I would have to have a vanity metric over here, which is my reality, our life. But I can't because life isn't a vanity metric. It is purely how things happen. So yes, there will be successful times, but there will be negative times. But social media does not highlight the negative times. It primarily focuses on eliciting feelings of insecurity and making people feel belittled by your achievements. So you would only ever show the perfect part of who you are and what is going on in your life. You will never show the other side. So that balance is what I got angry with. I only ever saw positive things. But obviously, if I can curate the negativity, then I won't put it there. 
I would just hide it in reality and just push all the positive in this fake artificial reality we call social media. So of course I'm going to only be ups- I will be consistently upset because I'm never going to see a downfall of this person. I'm never going to see them upset and bitter like I am. And that just adds more fire to to you know why you stay in that consistent cycle. So I stopped. I just got to a point where I stopped and I said this doesn't make any sense because it's not real. All of it is fake. It's fake, it's fake, it's fake. These people are not real. I mean, there was a time where a friend of mine, an ex-friend of mine, the guy posted a picture of girls in under his arms and he had bottles and it was in the club. He's that dude who's just always in Versace and it's just J&B met. It's fancy times with this dude. That guy uh, on a Sunday called me after he ca- came from his, you know, uh, shenanigans at the club called me and said, listen, yeah, I need a hundred bucks for petrol. And I was like, huh? He's like, I don't have any money. I, I, I'm struggling. And I was like, why don't you post a picture of you not having money? Why don't you take a photo of your empty wallet? Why don't you take a photo of you struggling? Why don't you take a photo of you asking me for money? And he was like, why would I want to do that? I was like, that's reality. That is a reality. You are going through struggle, which is what most of us go through. It will be something we can relate to. He's like, no, I'm not going to do something like that. People who follow me know that I'm successful. I'm like, but are you really successful? And he's like, I'm successful on Instagram. And that's all they need to know. They don't need to know that I'm struggling. They don't need to know what's going on in my life. And I was like, but that's fake. I was like, you can't propose that you're doing like you are successful in terms of money. But then low-key, you asking me for petrol money. That, that's, that's bullshit. That doesn't make any sense. Take a picture of your empty wallet and then I'll give you money. Obviously, that led to an argument and some would argue that I was being full of shit. The point I was making is that no one on Instagram or on social media will ever showcase the truth of their reality, of their lives, because we hide. Instead, they will make you feel insecure about the things that you don't have and get a very huge narcissistic ego boost out of it. Um, They like the idea that people are that shallow, that they would entertain and like someone who, you know, just makes them feel insecure and just, you know, not on their level. But the reality is that they are human beings who go through their own bullshit. And I guess I just realized that I am cut from a different cloth and I didn't want to be... I want. I didn't want those feelings to elicit. I felt like to, to be elicited within me. So I just felt like if there's any success that will happen in my life, I don't want to take a picture of it or post a video of it. I will only share it with people that mean something to me. And if, if it's a picture, I'll send it to them and know that how that picture is being received is with positivity and, and warmth and good energy as opposed to making people envious. I stopped going to restaurants. I'm so, I stopped going to events and then posting pictures that I am here, posting pictures that I am at the, the, the sea and I'm showing off. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want people to also feel like looking at me and be like, oh, Nathaniel's living a high buck life. I get nothing out of that. I get absolutely nothing out of that. It's a stupid vanity metric that only is a window into my insecurities as a person. So I was brave enough to know how this was affecting me, how I created animosity towards people that I, you know, care about. And I just chose to stop. I just chose to stop. I feel like if I want to know how my friend is doing, I will pick up the phone and call my friend. If I want to know, you know, if I want to tell and share a story, I would pick up the phone or say, hey, let's meet for coffee or go visit my friend and we'll talk face to face. But I'm not going to make people who I don't know insecure and get a vanity metric out of it because I want to, you know, show off that I'm living a great life and that taking pictures from this position and that position makes me feel better about myself based on how many likes I get. Again, I believe that it's just when people do that, it shows how insecure they are and a lack of luck. A lack of love that they received as kids growing up and they probably still have that void within them and therapy is probably what they need and and not likes and and shares because that's not going to help them so that is why i don't follow anyone anyone that means anything to me i have a personal connection with and personal relationship that lives within reality 
I can tell them about my negative, I can tell them about my positive and know that it's not received with any kind of hateful energy and know that they're there to support me and I think that's very important to me. So the way I use social media is not to make people envious. The way I use social media is to let you know that the same shit that you're going through when you're hiding stuff from people is the shit that I go through and it's okay because we all fucking mistakes we all fuck up we all go through tough times and it's okay because it's part of who we are we are an imbalance of positive and negative that is our constant as human beings i'm not gonna pretend and i'm not gonna be part of that livelihood that wants to pretend that everything's okay in their lives it creates unnecessary hatred and animosity i'm not gonna do that so that is why i don't follow anyone I don't go to Instagram to go follow people's lives. I don't. To be frank, I don't care what you're doing with your life. You'll never see me in people's stories. You'll never see me, you know, looking at people's pictures. And I, I frankly don't care. I use it for motivation and inspiration with channels that are like-minded. But if you mean something to me, you know I have your number and you know I'll call you. And that's how I'll probably raise my kids. And that's how I, if I had a friend who was affected by social media, I would encourage them to do what I'm doing. So assess how you feel when you go through people's pictures, videos, stories, and tell me that you don't feel something similar. And tell me that you don't go through the same cycle. And tell me that this that I'm talking about right now doesn't make sense to you. So anyways, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and share, share, share. If you're watching this on Instagram, make sure that you share it to your IG story and get people to, um, you know, start following the, 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 what's, sorry, I got distracted. Start following the, the channel, man. Uh, the more people that follow, the more information and knowledge and happiness and joy and love we get to spread. All right. Hippie.